Hello everybody, I wanted to make a video today just showing how everyone, every, one can see the process of a fruit and how it grows. A lot of people don't realize what goes into uh, or the process of growing fruit and how much work it actually is, but the rewards that come from it. Here are some flowers on my mango tree, and as you can see, this is a pretty good sized mango tree. A lot of mango trees are a lot bigger than this, but now is a great time because it's the season. I want to show people what baby mangoes look like and how big they actually grow. There's many different varieties of mangoes. When I grew up in New York, I thought there was only one type of mango. And uh, now I'm pleasantly surprised to know there's thousands. And I got a few of the ones that I really enjoy and like. But I want to show you here from the panicles. Now, not all fruits that are, are, are blooming like this, not all trees that are blooming, will turn into mangoes. And there's a lot that goes into it from environment to mineral content in the soil. A lot of things that goes into what will make a tree actually fruit versus just flower. But I just want to show you so you can see because a lot of people don't really see. They go to the store and they pick up a mango and they're like, wow. But they don't really see how it starts and it's pretty, and a pretty amazing process. So let me show you. Okay, everybody. Here's a, my Kerry mango tree. And it's not that big. It's big, but I cut it back after I picked the mangoes last season because I don't want it to be a, like a super big tree. And these are mango flowers. And, and, or they call them mango blooms. And when a tree is mature enough, uh, it'll start to flower. And that means there's a good chance that these flowers will turn into mangoes, but it's not guaranteed. And there's a lot that goes into it, as I was saying, from the amount, uh, the type of soil you use to the, to when it's watered and when it's not watered and how often and also how much sun the tree gets. There's a lot that goes into it that'll make these go from a flower bloom to an actual mango. Now this tree is really a prolific tree and does great. And there's different seasons for different mangoes as well. And sometimes they can get fooled by the weather. So that's another thing. Normally when it's cold and then it gets warm, that's when the, the blooms and the mangoes start to come out. But sometimes then it gets cold again and it fools the, man, it fools the trees. Sometimes this is not good because the trees won't bloom properly. But sometimes it's good because it'll create a second bloom. But I want to show you today how it goes from this to a mango. And uh, so that's just this. And these blooms even look different on different trees, believe it or not. Uh, and the stages look different. So you see sometimes they're more redder than others on different trees. Or just sometimes the stage there's more green blooms. That's original ones. And then this. So now this might happen again this year. Some trees get two blooms. So now there's this tree here, which is a little bit later this year in blooming. So those aren't as mature blooms. This is my lemon meringue tree and uh, but I want to go show you some mangoes that are starting to come out some baby mangoes not on these trees here but I have some other trees where they're starting to fruit from this bloom so let me take you there now as I'm heading over to show you those mangoes I also want to show you a tree doesn't necessarily need to be in, in the ground to be uh, blooming or even fruiting you can get fruit on some trees right that are in the pot some of these are known as condo mangoes, but this one is a coconut cream. And as you can see, it's blooming. Now, some trees that are blooming at this age in a pot uh, might not be strong enough to hold many mangoes or even any. So even though the mangoes might come out, you might want to not let them fully mature. So some people at this point might take, actually take them off uh, if they see them growing. But as I was on my way to show you the little baby mangoes. I just wanted to let you know, you can grow this in pots as well. There's no excuse that you don't have the land area to do it. All right, that's the coconut cream there. Okay, everybody, this is my rosy gold mango tree. This is my first year having a rosy gold. And this is a great idea. It already bloomed, and you can see here, that was the mango flower bloom. But now, there's some mangoes on there. And this is the beginning of a mango. So if this blue, if everything goes like the way it should with this tree, I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, 
five, six, at least six, and there's, look, there again, seven and eight. So at least eight mangoes are gonna come on this tree. And here's nine and 10, that's even smaller amounts. Now again, not, they don't always come to fullness, but that's the way it is. So let's look at this one. Here's a dwarf Hawaiian mango. And so that one still has some bloom on there, but you can see all these little mangoes starting to form. And they're really small. Here's the size to my finger. But that will turn into a, a big mango as we uh, just let it grow. And this here is a honey kiss mango. So this is a later year mango. You see there's red and there's green. There's different types of bloom on here. No mangoes on this one yet. This Juliet, though, was the first tree this year to bloom. Now it's a little older and a little taller. So we had this first bloom here in this Juliet. Now again, it doesn't automatically mean you're going to get mangoes if you see a bloom, but there's mangoes here. There's mangoes here. So, so not all my trees, I have a good amount of trees and not all of them have bloom. Uh, but um, I mean, they all have bloom, they're all, they're all blooms, but not all of them have mangoes on them, but these specifically do. And again, it has a lot to do with the soil you use and the sun you get. And so there's a lot of things it has to do with, but also some trees are just known in different seasons to come out first. So this rosy gold is usually always the first one that'll come out, where the honey kiss is usually a, a much later variety. So it's just uh, good to learn about and know about these so you could just get an idea of what you're doing is truly working. This one's a test pollock. This is a very young tree. A great example, it's so young, nothing, not even a bloom on this tree. This is a test pollock. So it's just a good idea to learn. Let's go out back and see what's happening. All right, here's a lemon zest mango tree. And these are baby mangoes. See the bloom already came. There's a bunch of flies there. The bloom already came and there's, this is one of the best mangoes you'll ever taste, lemon zest. So that's what they look like. That's what it looks like when it starts out. And so the, the bloom's falling off and the mangoes are coming out. So this tree is going to be loaded with mangoes this year. This is lemon zest. Alrighty. Right, these are lemon meringue right next to the lemon zest. And these are even bigger. Lemon meringue. Okay, this is my neighbor's dog. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is my neighbor's cotton candy. He's got some, first year he's got cotton candy coming out on this tree. Excited about that. Here's his curry. Nothing on there yet. Okay, of all the trees I got back here, this was the first one to bloom this year. And this one is a fruit cocktail. And I don't see any mangoes on it yet, but I anticipate to have some. Again, I won't let many stay on here because it's a small tree. Even though it has a good size uh, bark, it's still a small tree, so it might hold some. But if you take off those little mangoes when you see them, instead of the energy of the tree going into that mango, It'll help the tree establish and grow more. So that's why some people, even though you get excited, you might see a mango, might take it off. So this tree just started blooming here. This is an Angie. And those blooms just came out. So I'm really excited about all of these here. Every morning I come here and there's more and more things blooming. Here's our guava tree. Really beautiful. Everything's blooming nice. I'll show you a couple more. Sugarloaf, oh yeah. I actually had this in a spot that I didn't think was getting enough sun, so I moved it. I said, and I put it in a prime spot where it's gonna get a good amount of sun, nice room to grow. And here's a 
another coconut cream. The coconut cream I showed you earlier wasn't a spot, but it was smaller, and then I got this bigger one. So I put that one back into the pot, and I planted this one. And now both coconut creams are actually fruiting. So that's really nice. So yeah, and then the other day I just saw my, my dot in the background there. That just started pruning. And I have some that aren't pruning yet. My Glen is not pruning. My Mana Chinook is not pruning. But my Belly's Marvel, this one's coming on strong. So I had another video showing everybody what's popping out here. But I just wanted to give people an example and show you what happens from the beginning of the season uh, with the trees and so on. All right, everybody. Have a blessed day and keep growing.